Before I move on to the blotting technique, I am going to remove the tape from my masking area. And if you recall, when I demonstrated this, I put one layer down, and now I just put a second layer down and did another wash. And I want to be very careful with peeling these off so that I don't tear the paper. And what we have in the classroom is a basic student grade masking tape, which most teachers use in the classroom. Artists that use watercolor on a regular basis will have a more expensive quality masking tape that really gives nice, clean, straight edges. And what you'll find if you have straight edges is that some of the watercolor will probably have bled underneath the tape. And that's okay. It's, it's just a different appearance. Getting straight edges, you would need something like masking fluid. Masking fluid is a material that's very similar to rubber cement. In fact, some watercolor artists will use rubber cement and it's painted down onto the paper and then once the watercolor is dry it's removed, it's peeled off of the paper and you can get some interesting shapes and straighter edges with, with masking fluid or artist brand masking tape. But even with the bleeding that has occurred slightly at the edges of the tape, there's still an interesting texture that I find appealing and that's the, the masking area. And you can see the different values of the red-orange that are applied there. So in this spot right here, I've prepared some yellow-green pigment and I'm going to do the blotting technique and what I want handy are some pieces of paper towel. So I'm going to start by tearing these into little strips because it's the paper towels that I will use for blotting. I may need more than that, but that's a good start. This is blotting right here. So that was a, a dark yellow-green with some black added to it, a wash, and then lifted. Mixed colors give better effect. This is a blotting also. So bring my palette over. and put some yellow-green pigment here, keeping it, again, on the wetter side. So when I do the blotting, I'll have greater effects than if, I, if my shape is too dry. And while that's wet, I will go in, crunch this paper towel up, and blot an area. I just use the paper towel once and get another piece. And it's a little on the shiny side, but that is what blotting looks like.